Aloha everyone and welcome to a new video and today a new event happens and this time is in Inazuma and we're gonna have some guests today in this event you may remember one small character oh oh we get a free Jinjun I have no idea how to say the name so four axe and I guess excess okay how do you start hi Catherine we heard that you have a new commission for us that's correct there's a requester who has submitted a designated commission for the two of you. A designated commission? Sounds like it must be pretty important. Uh, what kind of task is it exactly? <laughs> There's no need to worry. This commission is not dangerous by any means. Perhaps you have heard that Inazuma will soon be holding a major festival. The Magnificent Irodori Festival. Come to think of it, we haven't attended a festival in Inazuma for a while! How you sad I am busy how... Tip, tip... Like he kinda gays a little? The Yashiro Commission and Lady Yai are responsible for all the festival preparations. The one who has requested your help is none other than Lady Yai herself. <laughs> you know Miko! She always has some unusual ideas in her head! You can bet a festival plan by her is going to be one to remember! We better go to Grand Narakami Shrine and see what she needs us to do! Lady Yai is currently at Yai Publishing House in Hanamizaka, so there is no need to go all the way to the shrine. In fact, she has instructed me to have you directly meet with her there. Oh, well that's convenient enough. Let's go then! Aratani and Kuroda, how are things coming along? All the books and commission prints for Yai Publishing House were bound and sent out yesterday afternoon, Lady Yai. Very good. And Murata? We have already received word from Apekusu and Sailing Breeze that the materials are all in place for Shogun Almighty Reborn as Raiden with Unlimited Power and Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. What the titles? And what name Murama Murata? I wanted to, to say more Matcha, or, you know, that name that I think is kind of the name of a legendary soul or something. But, mm. ah, that, yes, these two are like a classic. Hmm, well done. And what about you, Onodera? Who? Oh. Ahem. <laughs> uh oh, she looks angry. Onodera? Oh, what uh, did you do? Yes, Lady I. Everything is ready for the new issue release party. You are the one who organized the plans for this release party. In other words, you are the team's fearless leader now. So please, show some confidence. Besides, there's no need to be nervous. This project is destined for success. I feel quite optimistic about it. I shall specially grant you leave for the next couple of days, Onodera. Please take the opportunity to have a good rest. After all, you will be very busy on the day of the release party. Yes, Lady Yai. Thank you very much. All right, then. Is everyone clear about their assignments? Hmm, good. We are running out of time, so let's get moving. Chop, chop. She's so bossy. Ah, hello, little ones. I take it you have received my commission, hmm? Some organizer you are! It's nearly time for the festival and you're still over here ramping things up for your light novel business! Shouldn't you be getting back to the Grand Narukami Shrine? Chill down. You weren't thinking of dumping all the festival preparations on us, were you? <sighs> if so, then you can forget it! Paimon won't accept such a commission! Wow. He's so angry. And look at that style to act like we're not gonna do this. My 
my, such harsh words. It hurts to hear that kind of talk from you two. I didn't but say anything. You can clearly see, I'm here working like a dog for the festival. Yet you say I'm not doing my job. Let me ask you, little ones. Whoever said that the festival must involve the Grand Narukami Shrine? Huh? But isn't that a given? This is Inazuma, after all. Yes, that is true. But now that the Sokoku Decree has been lifted, Inazuma is no longer the same nation that once resisted change tooth and nail. Therefore, rather than sticking to the same old traditional festival, the Yashiro Commission and I have decided to shake things up a little. This time, we'll be holding an international cultural festival, distinctly Inazuman, but with a unique twist. <laughs> I suppose I should start by telling you the origins of the Iridori Festival. <clears throat> Legend has it that there were five poets in ancient Inazuma who were supremely gifted in singing and writing poetry. They are known as the Five Kasan. Every year, one of the five would present a collection of the group's poems to the Shogun for review, which would then spark culture discussions regarding those works. Thanks to them, Inazuma's culture blossomed and gained great influence at that time. As time passed, people began creating various tales based on the Five Kasan. The Iridori Festival was also developed as a result to show appreciation for their works, which so greatly enriched our lives. Sounds like a festival that's really rooted in culture. Indeed. To describe it in the words of the ancients, it'd be refined elegance. Unfortunately, with the flow of time, people have gradually forgotten about the Five Kasan and the festival. Which is precisely why I've decided to revive the Iridori Festival by... holding a cultural convention featuring light novels. <laughs> but, wait a minute! Light novels?! Again, she's Yamiko. She already gonna slide her way. Please stop looking at me with those baffled expressions. In ancient times, poetry was all the rage. But nowadays, the entertainment format of choice is light novels. The important thing is not the format, but the creative work itself. It is impossible to come up with anything fresh if you're stuck using some rigid format of the past. Again, anything that has to do with Yamiko, she always has to be in this stuff up. Speaking of which, don't you think that the concept of focusing on the now perfectly suits the current Inazuma? <laughs> and besides, it's a great opportunity to reintroduce Inazuma to all Tavat through light novels. As they say, it's two birds with one stone. Oh, that was close. Paimon was nearly carried away by Miko's persuasive tongue. Come on, Miko! You can't fool us. We know you by now. This is all definitely stemming from your own personal interest. <laughs> I can't deny that my hobbies had no part to play in this. However, regardless of whether it's light novels or a festival, catching people's attention with a fresh concept is the essence here. Well, what do you say? Aren't you two even a little curious about what interesting things you might see at the festival? Uh, maybe a little. Oh, all right, Paimon's super curious now. <laughs> Come, let's pay a visit to the venue in Rito together. I promise that it will give you a whole new perspective on the festival. There we'll meet a special someone who will tell you more about your tasks. During the Iridori Festival, the area around the Outlander Affairs Agency will become the main exhibition space for light novels. Once things are in full swing, not only will there be lots of official and fan-created work on display, there will also be exclusive giveaways, prizes, and new release parties. 
why do, now this sounds uh, this is more of everyone and more of a uh, uh corn or what is called cover no just uh, you know general con add your anime con manga con light novel con etc this small plaza in front of the international trade association will be called the five kasan plaza during the festival and nearby shops will be selling special light novel merchandise you certainly won't want to miss out wow um how should paimon put this uh it's definitely not your typical festival but it sure looks like it'll be quite the party Yes, those are... Ah, Lady, I did mention that there would be some reliable helpers coming to assist with the festivities. It appears she meant you two. At last we meet again, Traveler and Paimon. Tell me, how are you faring recently? Oh, it's Ayato! Wow, so even a busy guy like yourself is here to attend the Iridori Festival! Preparing festivals falls under the Yashiro Commission's scope of responsibilities. Seeing as Lady Yai has poured her heart and soul into the preparations, I'm obliged to be equally dedicated. I, Jenny, I want to say that I was so close, but yes, so far, I'm so close to da, catch up with this now. Like, I think I have one episode left to do edit for this guy, and then I'll be able to do this event episodes. Man. I really have to find a way to catch up faster with this game. <laughs> Come now, Ayato. We're not strangers here. There's no need to sound so formal. We were just about to discuss the boards over here. They're related to our little helper's tasks, so I'll let you give them a detailed rundown. Certainly. I assume you two already know that the Iridori Festival originated from the Five Kassen. These five boards are here for painting their portraits. This Iridori festival is not only the first major festival to be held in Inazuma since the lifting of the Sakoku Decree, it is also an event deeply rooted in culture and the arts. Therefore, the Yashiro Commission has personally invited several cultural celebrities from other nations. For example, the artist we have invited to paint these portraits hails from the distant land of Mondstadt. Albedo? The Ashiro Commission will arrange accommodations and food in Inazuma for each of the distinguished guests. However, we fear that staying in a foreign land may feel a little uncomfortable. Which is precisely why it would be ideal to have someone familiar with both Inazuma and other nations of Tevat to serve as a guide for our guests. And just so happen we been to those. Wait, um, I see... I see the idol. Mihoyo, don't mess this up and please... Make this a fun edge. I knew you would catch on. It is our hope that you would be able to guide the guests from the harbor to their residence at the International Trade Association while providing any necessary assistance along the way. This arrival schedule includes the details of the ships on which the guests will be arriving. All you simply have to do is go to the docks at the indicated times. That's whose cars? Did I say this one? Oh, mechanical. Oh, the other event. I'm kind of surprised I actually have this time, like AM and PM. I don't think in ancient time they have like this time. I wonder when that was invented. Hmm, it's settled then. My, look at the time. I have to meet with my editors, so I must be going now. 
During the festival, most of the Yai Publishing House's editors will be staying near the Outlander Affairs Agency. If you run into any problems, you may find them there. This <coughs> festival requires the full cooperation of the Tri Commission, and there are still many minor details which require my attention, so I must excuse myself for now. I'll leave the guests in your hands. And this was Del Camio. All the details we need about the ships are on the timetable that Ayato gave us. <sighs> Let's take a closer look and be sure to pick up the passengers according to the times written on it. Hmm. According to the arrival schedule, there will be a ship arriving from Mondstadt today. The artist for the five Kassim portraits should be on board. The boat should be arriving soon, so let's head down to the docks! And we'll show you around! Yes, that's right. We are bards from Mondstadt. Word has it that Inazuma has undergone many changes of late. We hope to find fresh inspiration here. These guests are all bards, aren't they? Well, where's Tondaf Bard then? Huh. Strange. He's pretty famous in Mondstadt. Do you think he didn't receive an invitation? Huh? Why is that? Oh, Paimon sees what you're getting at. Even though Venti no longer rules over Mondstadt, he's still an Archon. If he came rushing to Inazuma at the first mention of a festival, not only would it seem a little childish, it would also sort of be shameless of him too. Hello, little one. It's been a while. Oh my god. I can only see the destruction, all the fireworks and bombs. <sighs> Mr. Honorary Knight! Paimon! <sighs> Wait a minute. It's Kali! Were you also invited to the Iridori Festival? <laughs> no, Albedo's the one who received the invitation. But because everyone in the Knights of Favonius has been really busy these days, Albedo arranged for someone here to issue me a dependent pass. A dependent? I wonder why. And really, Lisa Ying could come here? Okay, I get she has her event with the partner, but come on, I must sing for her. Greetings, Traveler and Paimon. After hearing that Inazuma was making preparations for the Irodori Festival, I predicted that I might run into you here. It seems that you already know why I'm here. Just so you're aware, I'll be using my pen name in Inazuma, Calx. Oh, by the way, do you know where the International Trade Association is? I'll be meeting with the editorial director of the Yai Publishing House there. Yeah, the International Trade Association is where you'll be staying in Inazuma. We'll be heading there too. Great. Well, let's get going then. So many things I've never seen before. <laughs> Slow down, Klee. Please be careful not to bump into others. All these toy <sighs> stuff. Telling Klee so many stories about Inazuma during the trip was probably not the best idea. You think? As a result, she could hardly sleep all the way here. It appears she's even more excited now that we've arrived. Strange. It seems that the editorial director, Mr. Hiroyama, isn't here yet. I'm certain he said that he'd be sure to arrive before me. 
This might be a problem. Well, Mr. Hirayama was supposed to meet with me and give me some reference materials about the five Kasen today. That way, I could better visualize the content for my paintings. You mean, you had no idea what you'd be painting before you arrived in Inazuma? I only know of the five Kasen by name. Because of the sheer age of the tale, very little has been passed down to this day. So, Mr. Hiroyama decided to help me collect some more information. I'm the type of painter who can complete a painting quickly, as long as I'm inspired. So, I agreed on only receiving the details today. So when do the paintings have to be done by? According to the festival plans, the portraits will be revealed one at a time throughout the various stages of the Irodori Festival. The first one, depicting Suiko, will need to be done before the festival's official opening ceremony, which is the day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow? Then you're already running out of time! There's no need to panic. When I was working on light novel illustrations, because the manuscripts are a ship by boat, things were always tight and finished at the last minute. Just last month, to ensure the latest book of A Legend of Sword would be finished for the Irodori Festival, I had to complete the final chapter's illustrations the same day I received the manuscript. I heard that my illustrations were sent to print as soon as they arrived in Inazuma. I still don't know how well they turned out. Uh, Paimon isn't sure if she should feel sympathetic for your working conditions or compliment you on your artistic genius. Of course, I would still prefer to receive any possible reference materials in advance so that I can be better prepared. House will all be around the Outlander Affairs Agency these next few days. Who knows? Maybe Mr. Hirayama's over there too. We'll take you over there to see if we can find him, Albedo. All right, it's worth a try. Klee, <clears throat> you haven't slept for a while now. Uh, please stay at our residence in the International Trade Association and get some rest. We will be back soon. Okie dokie. Don't worry, Albedo. I'll be on my best behavior. I don't touch her. <sighs> this can't be happening. The moment we need to contact Onadera is when he's on special leave. <sighs> Kuroda and I will go back to Inazuma City for an emergency printing run. The demand for this book is so high, though. Even with the emergency prints, it still might not be enough. Despite everything, we're still lucky that we found out today. If this had happened a few days later, then we'd really be in boiling water. Ugh. Hey, do you think that suspicious guy they found in the warehouse has anything to do with this? Well, the editorial director is on his way over there to investigate the situation as we speak. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but what's going on here? Oh, hey, Traveler. Uh, don't worry. It's nothing, just an internal issue. That's all. How can I help you? I'm looking for the editorial director, Mr. Hirayama. Does anyone know where he is now? Um, Mr. Hirayama is currently at the warehouse down by the harbor. Oh, hold on a second, Murata. Uh, excuse me, but you must be Calx, the one who was invited to paint the five Kasen for the festival? Yes, that's me. My name is Kuroda. You must be inquiring about information regarding the five Kasen. I do apologize, but please make yourself comfortable at the International Trade Association, and I will let Mr. Hirayama know to send you the materials right away. Oh, no need. You guys look super busy, so we can go find him ourselves. Uh, well, uh, about that. Excuse me, but is there something wrong with the latest volume of A Legend of Sword? Huh? How did you know? Since you were all aware that Mr. Hirayama needed to send me some supporting materials, that means the editorial director didn't forget about it. Instead, something urgent must have cropped up. To add to that, despite being aware that I am Calx, you were still unwilling to let me go to Mr. Hirayama directly. After considering these factors, 
The only reason you would try to stall me is if something happened to a Legend of Sword, which I did the illustrations for. Well, uh... Uh... I'm very sorry. The situation is just as you said, Calx. I suppose it doesn't hurt to tell you now. Earlier today, someone spotted a suspicious outlander sneaking around inside the Iridori Festival warehouse down by the docks. So they promptly alerted the Tenryo Commission. The Tenryo Commission was concerned about potential cargo theft, so they contacted everyone who was renting space in the warehouse. It was then that we realized that the latest copies of A Legend of Sword had suddenly gone missing. What? The books are missing? Shh, not so loud. Not only is this book an eagerly anticipated release in the last phase of the Iridori Festival, but the author, Chen Yu, will be personally attending the release party as well. Because of the dire situation, Mr. Hirayama immediately hurried to the warehouse to determine whether the theft was related to that suspicious outlander. I see. It would be a great misfortune if A Legend of Sword would not be released on schedule, and quite a disappointment for Chen Yu as well. If Mr. Hirayama has gone to the warehouse at the docks, then I'll go down to see if I can be of any help. So the author of A Legend of Sword is Chen Yu. Sounds familiar. Hey, isn't that Ching Cho's big name? Oh, do you know him? Ching Cho would definitely be upset if he discovers his books are missing. Let's accompany Albedo to the warehouse, too.